Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websoftutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about functions with arguments. So guys, I'll create a function. Firstly guys, I'm going to create a function without arguments. Then I will tell you what is the main benefit of using functions with parameters or function with arguments. Suppose I'm giving the name of someone and I'm adding two values here. 10 plus 11. Oops, 10 plus 11. Then I will return this variable return r now i will echo it out some one means i'll call this function and print its value return value refresh you will see 21 suppose guys now this time you want to add different numbers my means in this function we are adding 10 and 11 so if now this time i want to add 20 plus 11 what you will do you will copy this function function sum2 and this time you will echo its value sum2 21 uh, so it's 20 31 but guys you can see it is wasting your time because you are using creating different fu functions for for same logic so means it is useless you don't need to create different different functions for same logic so instead of using function without arguments we will use function with arguments so i will remove this code now i'll create function sum and in between these two brackets i will pass some variables means some parameters like v1 for value 1 comma v2 for value 2 now i will again use it r equal to v1 plus v2 now guys i will return r now guys i will echo sum firstly i will go to browser and refresh you will see some error missing argument one missing argument two means we have used two parameters inside this function so we need to pass two parameters like i'm going to add 10 comma 11 so guys go to browser refresh you can see 21 means again if i want to use this function for different values i don't need to rewrite this function i will just change my parameters you can see 31 means uh, now guys i will show you how it is working like in the first calling of function means uh, when we've called first time a uh, function first time we use 10 and 12 oh sorry 11 means 10 value is assigned to first parameter and 11 value is assigned to second parameter now these 10 and 12 11 values are again assigned to these variables like 10 is assigned to v1 11 is assigned to v2 and the result of addition is assigned to this r variable now it is returning it means with the help of function with parameters we can make our code flexible so it is recommended that you code should be flexible so that your application will run better means we don't need to write same logic again and again means we don't need to make different functions for same logic we will use just one function we will pass some parameters and we will specify these parameters here you can also use many very uh, parameters like v3 so i'll use plus v3 and i will add one more comma well refresh you will see 33 10 plus 11 21 plus 12 33 so guys in this uh, so guys this is the main advantage of using function with arguments uh, so guys in the upcoming video we will use these function with arguments with when we will work with the database so guys if you have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial